gonna cover the whole canvas right here with this dark color. We're gonna put highlights on this like grass here in just a minute. Let's go with a little brush, fan brush. I'm using a number three that I've been using. This one's got the green in it. You can use a number six if you want to, four, five, whatever. I'm using a number three right now. Alright, I'm going to go right in here and just kind of tap some little trees right through there. some of the viridian, some of the black. What that does is it looks like there's a row of trees right in front of that one. Looks like there's more trees right there. See that? And you automatically get all these layers of trees and that's what makes your painting interesting is all these layers of stuff. Let's go ahead and take that up. <clears throat> brush you had the white in it. I'm gonna grab some of the uh, white mixture that we made, the white base medium, and some of the bright yellow. And I'm going to create some little flowers and things going on back in here. So, see that right there? Look at that. Get all them flowers coming alive back through there. And it's going to turn green when you start adding that to it. So it's going to pick up some of that base color so it's going to look a little bit green. We got some sunshine coming through there. Look at that. See that? Nice sunshine. If it gets starts getting a little thick, add a little bit more of that. You can add linseed oil if you don't want it to be this bright. He's growing right up against that rock too. But he's on the other side. So we can create some different type of grasses and things by just pushing up some of these dark grasses. See right there? Put, put them right in between the rocks. And when you come back and highlight these, you'll highlight them the same way as you as you put them up there. Maybe this is a bush. Look at there. Growing right up through there. Who knows? Just whatever you feel like that you should put in, in it, that's what should be in it. Okay. They say that an odd number looks good in pictures. And I think I've got eight trees, so I'm going to put one more in, in, in the mix. And I kind of agree with them sometimes. Now, not all the time, don't get me wrong. I throw, throw a fit sometimes. But uh, maybe, uh, let's see. Where can we put one? I, won't, I don't want to cover up all of my little open spaces I've got going on, but let's put one right here. Right in there in the center. And we'll use this side of the brush this time. See there? You can use either side you want. Okay, I'm going to clean that brush out. Instead of dirtying up another brush, I'm just going to use a paper towel and wipe off the excess. And I'm going to go into this, uh, uh, well, stop. One more thing. Let's go back into our knife and create some little tree trunks on these. But it's a little tree trunk here, a little tree trunk there. Push up, push up, I'll tell you, we're about finished. Let's create a, some highlights. Let me get my 
and it's more of that medium left that I made. It thins the paint down. It helps this stick right on top of it pretty easy. We don't want these to be real bright highlights. Evergreen should be, you know, sort of dark. So it's got a little bit of this blue to go in. If there's any left, maybe a little black will do too. We want to darken them down, make them real, real nice and green. That bright primary yellow, lemon yellow color is uh, we'll lighten them up. Now this should stick very easily, so let's just go right over these. And I'm going to start right here at the top corner. And just go over the areas, just lightly touch. And if it's thin enough, it'll stick right on top of it. I'm having no problem with this right now. I'm not going to say that I flip it over, go to the next tree. If it does, just thin it down a little bit more with some linseed oil or that medium. 